Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of El Supercast. With me today is Brendo Man. How are you doing today, sir? Oh, I'm doing good. So, let's first start off with how long has it been? Like years, literally? I I don't know, man. It's been a while. I mean, like, I think like you hit me up a while ago, and then uh, I kind of lost touch with you, and then you just popped up. Yeah, it happens like out that. of the blue or like, hey, can you record some stuff? So, what has been the life of Brendo Man? Have you gone to any Comic Cons while uh, we've been on hiatus? Oh man, I've done everything. I've been everywhere, done everything. Uh, I mean, shit, I don't even know what what was I doing the last time I talked to you. I don't even know. Was I living in San Diego? I think so. I think so. Uh, yeah. So. I got laid off my job in San Diego, moved to Yucaipa, which is in about two hours east of Los Angeles. Uh I work at a school now. I watch a lot of wrestling. I go, I mean, I still go to Comic-Con every year, go to WonderCon, do panels, been doing my panel, just did panels. A panel at Long Beach Comic Expo, getting ready to go to WonderCon next weekend, um, getting ready to go to WrestleMania, you know. Yeah, that's stuff. a lot on your belt. It's interesting, though, you know, WrestleMania being so soon. Yeah. I uh, I saw, what was it? The Royal Rumble, that's what I saw. Yeah. And, so- uh, you know, it was it was good to see all the ladies come back, the ones that I remember anyway. Yeah, that was very exciting. It was exciting (laughs) to see them get that moment, you know? Yeah. Because they didn't get that moment before. It it took them long enough to finally, you know, get get one for themselves. Like, some of the younger fans were like, why the hell are they out here? Bring the girls from NXT. And I'm like, the women from NXT are going to have that moment for years. These women never got that chance. Like, women's wrestling was not treated well at all yeah. during their time. So, like, let them freaking have this. Indeed. And they tore it up. Oh, yeah, it was great. Although, Lita almost killed herself. Really? What, did she do a, a, a Lita saw the wrong way or something? She almost landed on her head. I mean, she did land on her head. Oh, jeez. It looked real bad. It was bad, but, I mean, shit happens, man. Yeah. Uh I mean, props to her. Props to everybody. I think Michelle McCool looked amazing out there. Beth Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, they all looked really good out there. Oh, I uh, I was at a a grand opening for uh, a ho- hobby video game shop, mm-hmm. and uh, they had. Oh, jeez. Why am I blanking on his name? Oh, yeah. They had Gangrel there. He was a cool guy. To oh, talk yeah. To. Yeah. He's still, he's still grinding. He's still grinding out there. He's still doing the Gangrel thing. Uh, I saw him when I was out in Orlando last year for uh-huh. WrestleMania. And he still comes out, still spits the blood. Yeah. He's still doing it. Yeah, that's, that's way cool. <laughs> he told me that uh, the inspiration for, for his, uh, you know, Vampirism was the movie Lost Boys. Yeah, he's pretty dope. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. Cool. Um, he even came here. I forgot. He came out here. Oh, yeah. So, Brendo, do you still do the Brendo Man Minute, or is that uh, <laughs> gone away? Oh, it happens. From there we time go. To time. I can hear you again. Okay. What I was going to ask you is, do you still do the Brendo Man Minute, or is that a thing of the past? Uh, oh. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Well, you know, when internet starts to act up, it is what it is. We have to pull through and hopefully we'll get there. Yeah. Hey, we'll we'll make it through here. Okay. So, do you still do the Brendel Man Minute? Um, well, I don't do Radio Brendel Man. We actually, we, uh, Radio Brendel Man kind of is on a popsicles type schedule now just because like phil who i was doing radio brenner man with is his kids are like 
full on kids now, and he's very he's full on dad mode basically. Uh-huh. So that's kind of gone on a more sporadic release schedule. So now my full time podcast is uh, called Massive Buds Wrestling Show. Started off as Matt and Brent Wrestling Show, moved on into Mr. Brendo's Wrestling Show. Now it is Massive Buds Wrestling Show. MBWSPod.com. Mm, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. It's me and my buddy. We talk about wrestling and we talk about weed. <laughs> That's a very potent so, combination. You know, All right. That sounds cool. Yes, I agree. So how many yeah. episodes uh, have you done so far? That's fun. That's what I've been doing. Uh, you know. Mm-hmm. How many episodes are you up to? Well, um, in all its formats, MBWS is uh, um, on its 66th episode. But um, Keith and I have been doing it for about episodes nice Hmm? that's cool all right brendo so let me ask you this you broke up on that last question oh i did can you hear me now yes okay what i was gonna ask is uh do you have a top five of wrestlers nowadays oh uh like active wrestlers yeah why not so, like, active wrestlers, number one is Shinsuke Nakamura, who I got to meet last year, and he's awesome. And um, he won the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. He's going to wrestle AJ Styles in WrestleMania. Um, number two, man, this is tough. That's this why I probably, asked the hard questions. Like, well, <laughs> Well, because then I also had to take into consideration, like, all of wrestling, because, like, I watch everything. Oh, and, geez. like, like my other, everything. one of my favorite guys right now, I mean, you also have uh, this guy, Joey Janela, who is from New Jersey, wrestles in Combat Zone and GCW, and he, I saw him in a pro wrestling gorilla out here, and he's awesome. So he would definitely be in that top five. But then I also had to put Kevin Owens for like, you know, because he's I've been following him since the Indies. And then if I'm going to say Kevin Owens, I'm also going to say um, Sami Zayn. But then like I got to put uh, I mean, then I have to say a number five because it's got to be a lady in there and probably put two ladies in there. But it's too hard to put it in five. So I'm going to not a token lady. But definitely awesome is um, going to have to be Sasha Banks. Ah, yes. Sasha Banks. Ah. Yeah. I saw this thing that she was in where they were uh, where they were eating hot wings. Oh, yeah. She was on uh, Hot Ones. Oh, yeah. That, I love that show. That show is great, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that show. I'm like, you know, I'm a fan of hotness, so I think I would do quite well in a show like that. Yeah, I think I would do all right, but then have you ever heard of Fire on the Mountain? Hmm, Fire on the Mountain? No, not really. It's a hot wing place in Portland, and their hottest sauce is pretty insane. Really? Yeah. Like, I can do the hottest thing. Wingstop, no problem. But like Hooters, like Hooters is bullshit. Yeah. Um, but like Fire on the Mountain is legit. And you can get their sauces. I think they sell them online. Mm. They're really good. I like hot stuff. I'm a big hot food fan. Okay. So what do you think, man? WrestleMania. Who do you think is going to win it? What match? AJ Nakamura? Mm. Yeah. That's, I, I, I think I mean, there's going to be a lot of high flying in that one. I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's going to be a brutal match. Um, their match at Wrestle Kingdom, uh, when was that? 
2016. Um, was it's one of my favorite matches I've ever seen. And uh, Nakamura won that one. And I think he might win this one. I think he's going to win this one. I think he's going to do it. I think it's they need to give him the belt. Um, but AJ is a great champion. And I think it's... I'm glad they're doing this match. I think, you know, whatever happens with Brock and Roman, which I think is going to be a better match than people are thinking is going to be, um, at least we have this match. And I'm glad they're listening to the fans, you know. Definitely. I'm excited for WrestleMania. I think whatever happens with the Kevi, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn match is going to be awesome. Um, I think tag team match, whatever that is, is going to be good. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited about Charlotte and Asuka. I'm excited about Ronda Rousey. Oh, yeah. That's right. She finally decided yeah. to... Uh going to be her and Kurt though. Angle. Mm-hmm. It's going to be her and Kurt Angle versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Well, well, well. That that can prove to be some hilarious, you know. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> I hope that Rousey and Triple H tussle a little bit. I hope this is the gateway to intergender wrestling in the WWE. Hmm. You know, if I could see it going that way, why not? She would be the one to do it. Yes. her Because now you got Shayna Baszler in NXT destroying people. Um, you know, mm-hmm. they you got, you got Nia Jax. You got these tougher ladies out there. And, like, women's wrestling is on equal footing now with the men's. I mean, that's the next logical step. It's happening on the indies. It's awesome to watch. You have you had like Candice LeRae and Joey Ryan tearing it up on the indies for like three or four years, mm-hmm. and now Candice is in NXT. So, you know, yeah, it is definitely a sign of potential. I hope that. Uh, so just they're signing so many amazing women. I know. And talent. So Brendo, man. Before yes. we get going. Uh, I'd like to ask this of all my guests. A website that you would like to give props to. Can it be any website? Yes. I've been really enjoying... Um, this is really dorky, but really enjoyed um, freecodecamp.org. It is a site where you can learn... It does... It, how to... You learn... Um, web development in chunks in like tiny little bite-sized lessons and it's really fun all right so i've been doing that. yeah and with that note i'm gonna bring it in to this podcast take care everyone goodbye